Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys wherever you are in this beautiful world whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi and I say BAM sometimes, mostly all the time. Sorry for that. But guys, let's quickly jump in a really cool TA video with amazing charts. You need to see these charts. Yes, we saw a pullback in Bitcoin. Yes. I said yesterday that could happen to that yellow line. Let's check if we are touching the yellow line and what we can expect next. Let's jump into the charts. Bam! This ain't easy, darling. Cause the devil's on my trail. Huh. I've been running so long that my feet don't work no more. That was the first band. This is the first um, chart I'm going to show you. Is it? Is it the first chart I'm going to show you? Ah, yeah, it's over here. I was searching my screen. Um, like you can see yesterday, that yellow line I said to you guys, um, mostly when we pull up that really hard, we pull back and we could go back to 37,500-ish before we go up for that nether, another leg up to that um, yellow circle up there, a new high. Uh, a higher high and that would be the moment that we break that red trend line that is coming down over there and this red trend line that is coming down that is the one that we should be breaking to become really 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 bullish this was the high this was the lower high and now we need to create a not a lower high but break it for example this line this trend line and then come up test that trend line and then bam explode up to the top that is what we need to see we need to find support now in this area here and then go up to create that new high and then we make a new trend line like this for example this channel what we are working, living in living in living in a player something like that diddy you're dutch okay let's jump into the next shot guys bam yes while I say BAM, let's see if the BAM BAM indicator predicted this. Yes, it did. Because the BAM yesterday gave a short flag, like you can see. And that is exactly what the BAM BAM indicator does. It tells you when to short or when to long. It gave a short flag. We had a candle closing down below the yellow stepping line. I will zoom in so that you can see a little bit better. It's really important to see that. Like this. So we had the candle closing down below that yellow stepping line. The yellow stepping line was still going up, so normally it should be going down to be really bearish. And that's what you see here. You can see that we had that green area, uh, which should have been completely yellow. And it turns yellow the moment the stepping line is going down. So we had the red dot, which was a really good sign. The red line on top, the orange in the middle, the green on the bottom, which was a very good sign. There was a lot of yellow starting, which is a really good sign. And at the bottom here, we can see the bam bam line crossing the midline to the downside, which is a really good sign. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven confirmations of that short. If you would have taken that short, let's say you would have taken it a little bit later at the next candle, you would now be in a 7.4% profit with a leverage of 10, that's a 74% profit. Huge short on the four hour. And yes, there was a huge long before that and a short before that and a long before that. And yes, these short calls are valid every time again. I can't help it. The BAM is just performing really well at the moment when the market is volatile. Okay guys, let's jump into the next chart. BAM, over here. This is zooming out. This is now the weekly chart. And in the weekly chart, we can see a lot of stuff. And um, we can see that we, you know, we touched that bottom of the EMA ribbon. We found support, we are moving up, and now we need to break the top of that EMA ribbon. And the top line of that EMA ribbon is 40,000, is around 40,000, 39,000 something. And we need to close a candle above that ribbon. If we close a candle above that ribbon, that is very bullish. Why is that very bullish? Let's see, if we look back in history, the moment we close the candle above that ribbon over here, that moment that we close the candle above the ribbon, check what happened with Bitcoin. We went up from $8,300 all the way to above here, $64,000. That is almost times six, uh, eight, sorry guys. Eight, yeah, times eight. So the moment we close again above that ribbon, 
that for me is a very bullish indication. And it is not only that close that is indicating that, that is also here. Of course, if you look, this is the NVT that turned red. And every time when it turns red, it is a bullish shine. Sign. Shine. And that is what you see over here as well. When it turned red, that is the same moment we went from 11 all the way up to 64. When it turns from red into grayish, that is a bearish sign. That is, means the market is turning around. We just turned red and now we should be staying red. If we stay red, very bullish. So also that one is performing really well. And then we take a look at the... I will, no, I will keep it open. I will, I will small, make it smaller. Then we will take a look at the stock RSI. Also, guys, really bullish because the blue line is crossing the red line to the top and we are going into that 20 to 75 level now. And every time that happens, let's go back into the past just to show you if the blue line crosses the red line into the top and then into that box, that bluish box. Here we cross, here we go into the bluish box. The price goes at that moment from 3,600 to 14,000. Here, at the top. So here again, we cross and we go into the top. We go from 7,000 to 10,000. And we can do this every time again. Here we cross inside. We go from, what was the level here? 10 to 64 at the end, like almost 40, 34. And every time that happens, it's bullish, guys. We cross. We need to go into the box, this one needs to close above it, this one needs to stay red, all really bullish in my opinion. And then if we take a look at this one over here, there, this is the MACD, that is also bullish because we can see the blue line starts to curl up again, we can see the red declining, now we need to start forming some green on the weekly. And then at the end, if that happens, me, AB, me, me, AB, me, AB, we even could guy and get a new buy signal every time we have these green these green circles they will be followed by a blue buy circle on the hash ribbons we have these greens maybe we will end with a bright green and then a buy signal and that would be amazing mostly when the red disappears and becomes a green line that is the moment again that the huge bull run of bitcoin could accelerate and yes Everybody talks about 100k uh, because that is the level we need to keep an eye on. And why do we keep an eye on that level, guys? What are you doing? Because if you look at the chart, one more time, you have the logarithmic growth curve. These are the two white lines, bottom line, top line. That top line is now around 137,000 US dollar. If we would reach the top in December, 20th of December, just before Christmas, we would be at 147,000 US dollar. And if we look back in the history of Bitcoin, we have always touched that bottom white line, but also touched that top white line at the end of the bull run. Like we did it, there's a fly. We did it over there, and we did it over there, and we can expect it to happen again somewhere, let's see, over there. So that is the run I am waiting for, guys, and hopefully you as well. Okay, that was really cool charts. Now, I have two more really cool charts that I'm going to jump into, and that is, uh, bam, these ones. Yes, really cool charts. This one is the first chart that is also very positive. Um, oh, I forgot on which, I found it on Twitter, I think at Will Clemente. I don't know for sure, so the shout out to him. Um, really easy chart. Every time, every time, we touch that downward stock to flow deflection trend line, this black line on the bottom. Every time we touch that line, every time we touch that line, every time, check what happens with the price when we touch that line. And we just touch that line and we are going up again here. Every time you can see the lines, the vertical lines, the Bitcoin price from that moment that we touched that line went up 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 went up went up every time again and again and again we went up when we touched those lines over there <laughs> yes i'm living on a animal farm now so with the flies and that is now what i think is going to happen again we are just 
turning around from that touching that stock to flow deflection line, which means, in my opinion, we would be going up. Really cool, another chart. Bam, over here. This is the all time highs in Bitcoin. The all time highs in Bitcoin. Okay, I'm going to put my face here because it's a very small chart. Um, every run has a certain amount of all time highs. You can see the red dots. It's every time a new all time high has been created during these runs. If we look now at this here, we can see that the first time we had a bull run, we had 53 all time highs. The second one, 52. The first one, I need to say zero first. And then the second one, 74. And then 30 times at the moment. This one is not finished yet, but we have 30. All the other ones, we have 53, 52, and 74. So 30 could go even to 60, a double amount of all time highs, guys. And bam, over here in this chart, you can see that in the previous bull runs, these all-time highs were a little bit widely spread. Here they were very close, here they were very close, but 2017 was a little bit better, widely spread. Here again, we are very close. Looks like this one. And now we need to create that one, in my opinion, to get another 30 all-time highs all the way up above 100K. Really cool charts. These I found on, I, 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 I want to give a shout out to him because else they say, did you, you do, you steal charts, you don't give shout outs. These I found on, I'm going to check really quickly now, Julio Moreno, this one that uh, created these charts. So shout out to Julio Moreno for creating these charts. Bam, that was everything for today. Today I'm going to go on a water park with my nephew and niece here near something, a big water park. Uh, so that was everything, no family video today. I hope you really enjoyed this TA video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I keep pronouncing it really fast. Hopefully the big thing on the bottom will yeah, keep track. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, and see you tomorrow again, and have a beautiful day. Bam.